Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ronan Percival, the CEO of Forest, and we're the fastest growing online reservations company in the hair and beauty sector. And the hair and beauty sector is probably the largest market in the world that you don't know about. And having a quick look around the room at all you techie people, I can't say I'm that surprised. <laughs> but but it, it, it's, it's worth over 100 billion in Europe. And it's comprised of a talented, creative people who are not computerized, not online, um, and often lack um, business savvy when they open their business. But like the reservation uh, sector in the restaurant industry maybe f uh, five, ten years ago, it represents a massive opportunity. Amanda is your typical salon owner. She's talented and creative, um, but uh, she, she doesn't like computers because she has dyslexia. And as a result of that, she uses pen and paper to run her business. And basically, what we've been doing over the last five years is helping the 50% of salon owners around Europe who share these traits with Amanda. And we've developed a, a special interface that we call the kinesthetic design, which is designed to help people with dyslexia or who don't like computers to embrace technology in their business. It's been a long road. But we now have over 900 Amandas in the UK and Ireland, and we're the number one provider of software to hair and beauty salons here, and the fastest growing in the UK, and we'll do just under 2 million revenues this year. But a short while ago, we launched the next phase of our business, Xanadu.me. And Xanadu.me is an online reservations channel that connects in to our network of salons. And we thought that consumers might like to book their hair and beauty appointments online in real time. But actually, we were wrong. They loved it. And one of the things that we're seeing now is that we're seeing 30 to 40% growth month on month on the number of people that are booking in the salons, which is really exciting. And, but we're not the only company that's growing rapidly in this space. Groupon has built up to 2 billion in revenues, largely on the back of deals in the hair and beauty sector. And there's a number of other websites that provide online booking. But we have one huge, highly defensible advantage. We're the only company that controls the software in the salon as well as the online booking sets, um, portal. So for example, if you get a Groupon deal for a facial or a haircut, you book that in into our software. If you go from an online reservation site and you send an appointment request to a salon, it gets booked into our software. So we don't need salons to upload their free slots because we already have them. We don't need salons to upload their their, their times that they're open, their price lists, or their special offers, because we already have them. So today, we're officially launching Xanadu.me in beta. And we're aiming to become the open table of the hair and beauty industry. And just like open table, we control the software in the salon, just like they control the software in the restaurants, as well as the online booking side. And just like open table, we're taking advantage of a huge consumer demand for booking these type of services online. And just so you're aware, open table is currently trading at over 2 billion on the NASDAQ. So it's a huge opportunity. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. 
afternoon. Confucius said, I hear and I forget, I see and I remember, I do and I understand. And nowhere is this more true than in the world of English language learning. But the problem is there's no easy way to practice your language. Traveling to foreign destinations is too, inex it's too expensive, infrequent and impractical. And lessons with the web tutor will cost you up to $40 a time. Building the confidence that learners need requires validation from an authentic and interactive source, so-called FaceTime. We've developed a unique solution which provides that validation. It's available to learners 24-7 at a cost of only $10 a month. Uh, unfortunately, this... Let's just check it out. Oops. Unfortunately, I have to say the video which we sent and encoded in here doesn't appear to be kicking off. Uh, Dara, I'll have words with you about that afterwards. <laughs> but what you would see here, uh, if you just Im imagine, if you will, a world <laughs> where students can go and uh, there are banks, cafes, train stations, etc., where students can interact with other students. Um, we also have a virtual exam room where students can go and speak with the examiners. Our examiners are controlled by artificial intelligence and have the ability to converse with students. Um, oh, is that going to kick off there? Let's just see, try this one more time. No, I think that's it. But what happens is these students who, who need to, to practice for their speaking exams, and there are over five million of those students per year, who require passing a speaking exam to gain entrance to the US, the UK, and Canada. Um, we provide the exact same questions that those students are asked via virtual examiners, and we grade them based on pronunciation, accuracy, and vocabulary. And this product provides, it provides them with the experience of the exam, prepare, prepares them for the exam, and builds confidence. And I'm happy to say that we're launching our official product today at the uh, Dublin Web Summit. So in terms of the future, as I mentioned, we're just launching our uh, beta product today. We'll launch our full product next month. Uh, on top of that, then, we'll produce uh, exam products for PET and other, uh, like other English language exams, such as IELTS. At the end of the year, we'll provide an interactive solution for English language publishers, which allows them to build interactive uh, products to parallel their, on, their online, their existing um, hard copy media. Um, at that point, we'll focus on Taiwan, Korea, and China. 
and we'll provide a product which uh, basically there are over 250 million uh, learners of English in China at the moment. There aren't enough English language tutors to cater for them. The solution has to be automated. To sum up, we'll become the market leader in immersive education for English by providing an engaging and immersive alternative. And I have to say apologies again for this, but thank you very much. Hello, my name is Dave Rowe. I'm the VP of Product for WhatClinic.com, a website where six million people every year visit to find a clinic to meet their online healthcare elective needs. Six million people, it's a surprise to me that we've come this far so quickly. What are they looking for? Well, they're looking for everything. They're looking to have a tattoo removed. They're looking to have an unsightly mole removed. They're looking for hair transplant for their husband as they plan to get, wet, plan to get married. And it's not easy. It's not easy to find a clinic for private health care. There is no place to go normally. Your GP, friends and family can give you limited options. People are going to take on expensive treatment, want to know what all of their options are. They want to know what price they're going to pay. They want to know what treatments are available to them. And this isn't an easy thing to do at the moment. This is where we come in. We're disrupting a $500 billion market by making elective health care decisions a true consumer choice by providing price, quality and availability transparency. This is a typical listing on our website. So say you're looking for mole removal in Thailand or possibly at home here in Ireland. We show all of the clinics that are available that provide that treatment in the particular place you're looking. We show feedback from other consumers who have used that uh, clinic before, either from their own website, from our own users, from any other place that we can find it. We show availability for appointments, what time they have available at the clinic for you to come in for an appointment. Every single lead that we receive and we pass on to clinics, we follow up with the patients. Clinics are focused on patient care. They're often not very good at customer care. They don't answer the phone. They're not good at answering online inquiries. They sometimes are poor at providing information back to customers. So in every single case, we follow up with those, those customers in order to find out, have they been contacted? Have they found the clinic? Have they changed their mind about what kind of treatment that they're going to have? Do they need to contact further clinics? This can be a long process. It can be three weeks, it can be three months before somebody will make a decision. And during that time, we're with them every step of the way. And when they do finally have their treatment, they're delighted with the results. And they discover just how difficult it could have been to do this without whatclinic.com. Our clinics are also delighted because it gives them a means to target their marketing spend towards those people who are going to finally have their treatment with them. We give those clinics a simple business model which is based on the number of leads and the kind of leads that they're going to receive in their particular market. We give them a huge ROI. Sometimes they have difficulty in believing just how good the spend that they have with whatclinic.com is going to be. Email inquiries coming through the website have a 15% conversion rate, which is huge in the business that we operate in. Phone calls have an average of 40% conversion rate, and we also, where we provide direct bookings, it can be 90% conversion rate. So, in summary, we're trying to be a trusted brand in the, ele in the elective healthcare market through transparent pricing, availability, and feedback for the people who arrive at the website. We're an established business at this stage. We're three years in operation. We have a run rate of about 750,000, and we have 600 customers. Those customers are doubling each year. We are also, um, of those customers that we have, 75% choose to renew with us every year, and 35% go for a higher price plan following year. That is, they want to have received more leads. So, in conclusion, that's what clinic.com. Thank you very much for this opportunity for speaking to you. I'm the last of the IGAP presentation. <laughs> <laughs>